Hello everyone, Michael here, and welcome to this video. Now, just for some context, uh, as of this recording, three months ago, I released how to get VLC to play Blu-rays in Windows 2016. And of course, I made a list for movies that don't work that everyone can edit. And I want to just want to thank you guys so much for contributing to this list, as it actually did help a lot of people, at least some that told me that they actually saw the list and knew what movies didn't work so I uh, thank you guys for taking the time to adding to adding all these movies that don't work and it's still unfortunate that seems to be the case now you may notice the um, the poll cards that I have have on each video now I just just a side note I always have these or at least some videos I'll have these um, just pop up at random times just asking you questions if this the type of thing that you want these are these cards will tell us directly or kind of more to the point uh, what type of content that you guys the audience want from our channel and in this specific case 69% of you um, said that this method does not work out of the 26 and 25% of you, sorry, 75% want me to find another way to play Blu-rays for free. So, let me first point out that you guys may have noticed that in the video, there was an entry for M Player. Now, I actually did try that out, and it behaved exactly as VLC, but this one took a little bit more effort to get everything going. So I highly don't recommend doing that. And I understand you guys do not want to pay pretty much 60 or a hundred dollars to just to play Blu-rays. It seems kind of idiotic sometimes. So I was told recently by my brother that there was a software that recently came out, which I would later find out was something that recently became free. And that is the Leo blu-ray player now to my knowledge as I said before apparently this recently became free and yes it is hundred percent free there is no no viruses no malware no spyware based on the applications I used which was spybot uh, malware bytes and Krafsky antivirus and it does not install any extra extra content which is nice and it works for Windows and there is a Mac. And my brother and I had through a whole bunch of movies, ones that did not work in the past, and it seems to work a lot. Now, there are some issues with it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the application. So, this is the Leo Blu ray player, and, well, the whole UI is kind of minimalistic. This is the main menu. And right here you have the settings, which, you know, playback, what type of render method, uh, what files you want this thing to be able to open, what type of audio, what you want the thing to do, if there's a DVD or Blu-ray that's plugged in, your subtitles, international language, that type of stuff, snapshots, skin themes, um, power status, and all that fun stuff. And as you can see, I already have a Blu-ray already in here, and that is the Lego movie. So I'm going to quickly switch this to the desktop because there are some things that don't pop up when I record to application-specific in OBS. And let's go ahead and play it. Now, I also want to point out real quick that because of um, <clears throat> that, because that this is pretty much copyrighted content I'm not gonna be showing that many clips but I just want to show you guys um, how this thing performs because this thing alone pretty much shows uh, the issues that are currently going on with this application now keep in mind the blue sorry the Lego movie was one of the movies that did not work and with the VLC method and it's working here just fine right here now this um, 
it's just simply talking about the uh, fact that you can't use a mouse on this. You have to use your keyboard or its virtual remote controller. And right here it is, this little guy. <sighs> this is the first issue I have, is that the virtual controller there is very lackluster. In fact. There's no top menu, there's no all these other things. Now granted, when you actually activate, when you actually right click and click menu, like this, it usually works. But here's the thing, even though the thing can load up the menus and use it, sometimes it do isn't usually available. Or heck, sometimes it just doesn't work at all. So if I try to skip to the next scene, it actually doesn't do that. In fact, it just skips a few seconds ahead for something that's supposed to be like fast forward. So once in a while this thing does work, but sometimes it doesn't. But for those who are just aiming just to get video, just the Blu-ray movies to go, this thing will play your videos. It's just that in terms of the interface and using like the menus or anything else, it's pretty shoddy. Now, of course, from here you can, you know, you play play a disc, eject a disc, and you play back on any files that you want. Now, I'm not sure about record and convert. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to do it on this. I haven't tried it myself since I actually own the movie. There's no reason for me to back it up. And by own the movie, I mean by I have this... Um, available digitally. So other than that, you can. Uh, there is a share button right here, but it just pretty much it's Liao's little contest. So that's pretty much the entire application in that shell. Um, again, it's free right now, and it does work, as far as I know, with all of. The Blu-ray movies that are out there, even ones like the Lego movie, and recently released Zootopia. Well, that's for it for me. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you guys do, please like and subscribe. Uh, and also comment in the description below if there are some movies that don't seem to work with this application. Because I'm actually kind of curious. So, until then, I'll see you guys next time.